Hello my most amazing artists! Today we're learning about the artist Wayne Tebow. Wayne Tebow is known for his artwork depicting lots of sweet treats. He is known for painting all kinds of sweet treats that Americans tend to love like ice cream and candy and donuts and cakes. All kinds of things that are really yummy and sweet. He is 100 years old and still living today. He just celebrated his 100th birthday on November 15th of this year. He was born in Arizona in 1920 and now lives in Long Beach, California and is a contemporary artist, meaning he is still alive and creating and painting today. Tebow even had an internship at the Walt Disney World Company in 1936 when he was only 16. He even got to draw some of the Disney characters that we see today. He temporarily worked there before becoming an artist on his own and creating these sweet treats that he is known for and becoming a famous pop artist because of the paintings that we associate with our pop culture. A lot of these things are 3D looking. He makes his paintings look three dimensional by playing with light and shadow. Today we will be creating our own artwork inspired by Wayne Tebow. To start out with, you're going to get one piece of paper from the center of your table. You're also going to get your supply bin. So when your number is called, you will get your paper from the middle and your supplies for today. Make sure you wait until your number is called and then follow along with me in the video. Even if you want to work ahead, try to use pencil and slow it down because I might do it differently than you might have drawn it. If you don't like it, you can always do it again after your own way or change things and add your own details. We always start out by writing your name and class code on the back in pencil and then flip it over. When you're ready, we will all start. This time, I'm going to call your seat numbers just as if I were there with you. So listen for your seat number and when I call you, you can go ahead and get your supplies and your paper from the middle. If you sit at seat number one, go ahead and get your paper and your supplies. After seat number one gets their supplies, go ahead and write your name and class code in pencil on your paper. And then it is seat number two's turn. If you sit at seat number two, go ahead and get your supplies and your paper. Everybody should be getting their supplies and now writing their name on their papers. After you write your name, please make sure that you're using a pencil. I'm going to be using Sharpie so that you can see it really well up on the screen but you should be using a pencil in case you make a mistake. It's always a good idea to use a pencil first and then trace over your lines with Sharpie. That way you can erase if you make a mistake instead of wasting paper and trees and getting a new one. So after you write your name on the back or on the front, go ahead and start with a pencil. That way you can always erase if you need to. But of course we do turn our mistakes into happy accidents. So if I made any with my Sharpie, I would just turn it into a happy accident. I wouldn't start over you're holding your paper horizontally that's side to side like i'm holding mine not vertically up and down i'm going to find the middle of my paper and make a line that goes a little bit curved like an arch line a little wiggle go ahead and make that little curved line in the middle of your paper remember use a pencil after you make your curved line go to the other side and make an even curvier line After you make two curvy lines, connect them at the bottom with a straight line. This is going to be my dollop of whipped cream on my... Hmm, what are we making? Well, let's see. I'm going to make a line underneath the whipped cream. Go ahead and make a horizontal side-to-side -side long line underneath your whipped cream in the middle of your paper. Make sure it's long enough. You don't want to draw teeny tiny. Draw big, big, big. Use quite a lot of your paper up. Now I'm going to make a line that goes vertical or straight up and down, but down this time. So I'm going from my end on the left and going down. I can even bring it a little bit more down if I wanted to. Yep, that's good. You wanna make sure you're drawing big, big, big. Now I'm going to hop on over to the other end and I'm going to make a diagonal line. Diagonal lines go across. They don't go up and down, they don't go side to side, they go across the paper. So I make a diagonal line. Go ahead and make your diagonal line. 
Now we need to connect all of our lines. I'm going to make a straight line at the bottom connecting all of my lines. That makes this into like a trapezoid shape, almost like a rectangle, but a little bit different. If you need to catch up, don't forget that we can pause the video. I'm going to make the top of my pie by making another diagonal line that goes across from the left side of my top to the whipped cream, but I'm not drawing through the whipped cream, just stopping at that whipped cream. Now I go to my other side of my whipped cream and I'm going to make another diagonal line, but instead of going up towards the tippy top of the paper, now I'm going down and finding the other side of my pie. Now I have a 3D looking shape, like a real piece of pie. It looks like it could pop out, not like it's flat. It's going to look even more real with some crust. Go ahead and draw a bumpy, bump, 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 a bumpy or wavy line near that end of the pie to make your crust. The crust is my favorite part. And don't worry if yours looks a little different, that's what's unique about art. It doesn't all have to be the same. Anything that you do is awesome and we'll just give it your best try today. I'm making my crust go all over the bottom of my pie, making another horizontal line that's going to stop at the end of my pie slice and I'll connect it to the top. Whoa, awesome, this slice of pie looks yummy. I'm going to get to decide what kind of pie it is and decorate it and make it flavorful and colorful soon. But first, I'm going to put it on a plate. If you don't want to put it on a plate, you don't have to, but I would recommend trying it out with your pencil. I'm starting near the top of my pie and going around my pie. But notice I did not go through my pie. I also didn't put a big circle around my pie. I made it look like my pie was sitting on a plate. By not showing the full circle, it makes it look more like it's real because it doesn't look flat. If I was looking at a piece of pie on a plate from this angle, it would not show me the full circle. Some of that pie would be in the way of the circle of the plate and I wouldn't see it. So I'm showing that same perspective in my drawing. Wayne Tebow, the artist we learned about that just turned 100 years old, did this a lot in his paintings. He was able to make it look super realistic by using light and shadow and making 3D shapes like cylinders for his cakes, these triangle 3D shapes or cones for the pies, oh, and then always adding a table. Now when I add my table, I just make a really long horizontal line in the back. That's going to show that my pie is sitting on a table up close to me. Then I'm going to have that line behind it showing that the table goes back further in this space. This is going to make it look like it's popping out even more. We're putting that in the background. Remember, the background is what is behind the thing that we are drawing. So in this case, the table is behind it. I don't show the legs or anything like that because this piece of pie would not take up the entire table, so I wouldn't be seeing the legs. I wouldn't even be able to see the whole table from this point of view if your pie is big enough. Now I'm going to use crayons to color my pie. If you would like to use something else like markers, you could definitely do that. Just make sure you always put them back with the caps on. I'm using crayons because it's going to give me the best pie look. It's going to look a little bit more like my favorite kind of pie. I'm using different versions of oranges and browns to make my favorite kind of pie. Can you guess what kind it is? It's a kind we see a lot of at Thanksgiving and it has like an orangey color to it. Did you guess it? My favorite is pumpkin pie. I'm going to make mine into a pumpkin pie because I would love to have pumpkin pie at my Thanksgiving table. But you can make any kind of pie that you want. You can decorate it with different things on top. You can invent your own flavor of pie. It doesn't have to be one like pecan pie or chocolate pie or strawberry pie or blueberry pie. It could be one like a cotton candy pie or a, well, I had somebody make a pizza pie. It was really awesome to see all the different creations that students are making with their pies. I cannot wait to hear about what you create today. 
Remember, when you're done, you can color. If you drew with pencil, you could outline with Sharpie to really make your drawing stand out and then color it in. I'm making sure I do my best work coloring in the lines and then I'm even going to add a shadow. Wayne Tebow always added shadows to his art. A shadow is like when you go out in the sun and you see a big shadow or a dark spot behind you. That's because the sun is reflecting and creating a highlight on you and a shadow behind you. So I'm making it look like my pie has a shadow a little bit on the table behind it or on the plate because that's how it would be if there was a light on it. So Wayne Tebow used a lot of grays and blues to make his shadow. So I'm using a little bit of those colors as well. I'm making a plaid tablecloth by making both vertical and horizontal lines on my table. But notice I jump over my pie. I don't make my stripes or my lines through the pie. I make sure I hop on over my plate and continue on the other side. That's how it would be in real life if my plate was sitting on top of a tablecloth. All right, my most amazing artists, I miss you and I cannot wait to hear about how you did today. Make sure that when you're done, you sign your name. That way you can take this home with you today. You don't want it to get lost. I can't wait for you to show your families what you made. You could even write Happy Thanksgiving if you wanted to practice writing and spelling Thanksgiving. All right, artists, have a very happy Thanksgiving and have fun creating and decorating and making the flavors of your pie, just like Wayne Tebow.